All right, yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the same old story over and over again. Although there is a little bit of a change, it looks like temperatures over the next couple of days will not be nearly as extreme as what we have seen. So a little bit of moderation in the overall heat and humidity, but the chance of storms will continue. And we have storms to our north. You can see them through our millionaire cam. Temperatures from today, the morning low 74, the high temperature 94 this afternoon. And no rainfall just yet, but the day is not done. 84 is our current temperature. We've had some outflow that's cooled things down a little bit. Well, we still have plenty of humidity. A dew point of 74. South wind at 21. The outflow boundary came through, and so it got breezy there for a little while, and that outflow boundary triggered a few storms as well. All right, temperatures around Virginia, 88 in Hanover, 94 in Fredericksburg. I would say at the 6 p.m. hour, this is the first time we've only had one 90-degree temperature on the map in quite a while. It feels like 101 one up in Fredericksburg. Everywhere else, uh, it's pretty reasonable. The heat advisory, I'm pretty much kind of done at this point with uh, most areas cooling off. Big storm between Montrose and Kinsale. Also around Aylett and King William. Tremendous amount of lightning and heavy rainfall there. Neither one of those storms are technically severe. South side Richmond around Verina and then out toward uh, Hull Street and 288. Just a few showers there and also down 460 south and east of Prince George. We have one severe storm. This is going to be out in Albemarle County that's approaching Palmyra and Fork Union, but very slowly. The movement on this is only about five miles per hour. But we do have increasing lift back to the west as an upper level system moves out and so I do expect to see more thunderstorm activity in central sections of Virginia including the Richmond area over the next couple of hours. Tropical Storm Gonzalo maintaining its strength 60 mile per hour winds and it, I do think it will become a hurricane tomorrow or Saturday. Then it'll move across the Wimbledon Islands. It'll weaken as it encounters less favorable conditions in the Caribbean. And then we have Tropical Depression 8 over the central Gulf. That will likely become Tropical Storm Hannah over the next couple of days. That'll make landfall around Corpus Christi and then weaken over the weekend. We have tropical storm warnings now for the Texas Gulf Coast. All right, lows tonight, upper 60s, low 70s, nothing new there. But look at your highs tomorrow, mid to upper 80s, a few low 90s. We might stay at 88 or 89 in Richmond. I'm going to stick with 90 right now. But it would just be a bonus if we came up shy of that 90 degree mark. We'll have a chance for a few showers and storms in the afternoon and evening. Rest of tonight, still showers and storms around through 9 o'clock. Everything settles down overnight tonight. Tomorrow afternoon, a few pop up showers and storms. And some of those could linger into the nighttime as well. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow night. All right, here's your temperature trend. Not so bad over the next couple of days, pretty close to normal. And then we jump up once again as that big heat ridge reestablishes itself over the region for a few days and then a Another just kind of a step back from the heat. I don't want to say a cool down, but at least a little more reasonable by Wednesday and Thursday. Chance for showers and storms the next two days and again coming up next Tuesday and Wednesday.